Hello there, Gemini. Welcome to your sample tarot card prediction. These energies are coming through for the third week of May, the 13th to the 19th. This is a general reading. More specific answers to your questions can be booked by following the links in the description below. When you comment subscribe, you are automatically entered to win a free one question reading. Please press the notification bell to be notified for when you win. I have blessed and shuffled the cards just for you, Gemini. Your first card, the background, the general atmosphere, the basis of the matter, something that's already flowing to the past, is the Ten of Pentacles, the Rider Waite deck, the Ten of Pentacles. Well, that's home and family. It's a solid and secure life. In some cases, it's someone that's married into money or possibly an inheritance, but it is a monetary gain and increased stability. It's enjoying the fruits of labor. Could stand for a house or a dwelling, the family house or dwelling. It stands for security and material comfort. It can stand for wealth and social standing. It's a definitely a legacy and traditions and thinking about how your elders would have solved the issue. And there's some kind of goal realized. You're going to be attending a family function. The immediate influence, that's the second card. It's occurring now. It's crossing over your path. It is the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles. That's solitary enjoyment of the good life. Just wanted to like take a little time alone. It's feeling like you have some independence from financial concerns. You're feeling accomplished and you're getting your goals done and you're feeling the abundance. And you'll be able to further your career and your projects you've got going. You're enjoying a secure base and you feel good with your material well-being. You're having well-controlled thoughts. You're enjoying the solitary enjoyment. It's the good life. It's having love of gardens and home and feeling that you're self-sufficient. And the third card, how it affects you, your attitude. It's what surrounds the circumstances. It's the Ten of Swords, the Ten of of swords. That's an ending. It's an ending to a period of trials and hardships. It's, it's a reminder to stop worrying because it's an ending to your thoughts that you had hit rock bottom. It's an ending to gossip and it's making a clean break from your past pain. A new cycle begins. See, there's a new dawn on the horizon. So stop feeling sorry for yourself because it's also going to be an end of a painful situation. It's the end of health concerns or an illness, a definite closure, and your mind is going to rest easy. The fourth card, the outcome, the future, it's the results and the advice. It's how to respond. It's the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords. That stands for rest and recuperation. And it's healing. And you're going to be gathering up your strength. You're going to be planning your next moves wisely. And you should be keeping your plans to yourself. It is soon a change for the better. You're going to relax from anxiety there's going to be possible vacation. You could be seeking advice from an expert. You could be incubating your ideas. It's a peaceful time, uh, a good time to med meditate. And uh, it's a definite time to rest because you needed some relief from stress. The fifth card that's on the bottom of the deck, that is what is unseen or underlying the issue, and that is the Seven of Pentacles. 
the Seven of Pentacles. And that's a break, a pause during development. You need to step back and look at what you've already accomplished. It's the harvest yet to come. You are reevaluating. In some cases, it's, it's, it's anxiety about a loan because you're still waiting for that success. And your past efforts will bear fruit with consistent effort. But you have been impatient for results and you have been rethinking. Gemini, I have that extra gratitude for your like and subscribe and your comments. I really love your wonderful comments. Remember, what goes around comes around. Keep it positive. Love and light. Thank you.